Hey, what's up Aquamigos? So I'm just going to make a quick video right now about the issue I had with my Aquadyne Rhino 2 bottom drain in my pond. And I just wanted to say it's not a huge deal. I think we got it sorted out. But I figured I'd talk about it anyway because I mentioned it in my last video. But basically, after we trimmed the stem and we glued it to the check valve inside of the bottom drain, we went ahead and screwed the lid of the bottom drain onto the stem, and I was noticing we were getting an uneven gap below the lid all the way around the bottom drain. I was aiming for a 3 quarter inch gap all the way around, and as you can see, we were getting just over a one inch gap on one side and half of an inch on the other side. The reason I wanted about a three quarter inch gap is because I wanted a gap that was small enough to where my smaller fish wouldn't be able to get down inside the bottom drain. At first, I thought that maybe we cut our stem at a slight angle, but I actually checked and it turned out that our stem was actually level. And the stem was actually already glued into the check valve, so we couldn't really remove it and trim it again anyway. But either way, the stem wasn't the issue. I then looked at the inside threading on the lid of the bottom drain, and as you can see, the higher up you get in the threading, the more warped the threading becomes. And I think that's what was actually causing our lid to be uneven. And this was something that I didn't notice previously. I figured that it would be a good idea to contact the company that I bought the bottom drain from and possibly get a new lid sent to me. The website I ordered the bottom drain from is called playitkoi.com and they were really responsive to my email and the representative from Play It Koi actually reached out to Aquadyne and spoke to the owner over there about the issue that I was having. The owner then checked out about 16 other bottom drain lids that they had there at the warehouse and they all had the same issue that mine had. And he said that it was the way that they weld the lid together that causes the threads to melt this way. And ultimately, sending me a new lid wouldn't really solve my problem because all of their lids kind of have this issue. After the Play It Koi representative and the Aquadyne owner spoke to each other, I had a phone conversation with the Play It Koi representative, and the conversation was over a week ago. I didn't take any notes down or anything, so I'm just kind of going by memory here, but pretty much he told me what the owner of Aquadyne told him, and he asked me what I was trying to achieve with that 3 quarter inch gap all the way around the lid, and I told him how I wanted the gap to be small enough so that none of my smaller fish would get sucked down into the bottom drain, and he then asked me if my bottom drain was going to be gravity fed or if it was going to be pump fed. I told him gravity fed, and he assured me that in a gravity fed system, the maximum flow rate through a 4 inch pipe would be something around 3700 gallons per hour. And I could be getting that number wrong. I'm just going by memory here, but I'm pretty sure that's what he said. But either way, he said that the maximum flow rate through a gravity fed 4 inch pipe wouldn't be strong enough to suck any fish into it. And even if any of my smaller fish did swim down into my bottom drain, they would easily be able to swim back out. He even told me that at his personal pond at his house, his smaller fish regularly swim in and out of his bottom drain. And this put my mind more at ease and now that I'm sure that none of my fish are actually in danger by my bottom drain, I think I'm just going to leave it as is. So ultimately, yes my bottom drain will be slightly uneven, but I'm not really worried about it anymore. So yeah, I'm glad I actually waited a bit to make this video because I was able to speak to the company about the issue and my concerns have been put at ease. And I'm not really worrying about it anymore. So yeah guys, that's pretty much the story about my bottom drain. It ended up not being a serious issue at all, but I thought I would make this video anyways because like I said, I mentioned it in my last video. Some of you guys may have been curious, but that's pretty much all it was. It's just that the threading inside the lid were kind of messed up, and I guess they can make the lid sit unevenly. As for my Aquamigo spotlight for this video, I would like to give a big shout out to Farmore Koi. He has a Koi Pond YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and put his link down in the description below in case you would like to check out his channel. Farmore more Koi has been commenting first on a few of my videos. So yeah, thank you so much for the support. If you did like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. And stay up to date with my pond build videos. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. I'll put my Instagram handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.